Welcome to the know. I'm Meg Turney, and by now you've probably heard of the Mars One Project. It's basically an attempt to send humans on a one-way trip to Mars to colonize the red planet. It's been the subject of all sorts of media coverage, we've talked about it here, there's been tons of speculation on whether or not it's actually going to happen, and at one point it was even supposed to include a reality show helmed by the company that produced Big Brother, for real, in which those of us left on Earth could keep tabs on those brave souls embarking on their no way home journey. It all sounds pretty far-fetched to be perfectly honest, and along with the recent news that the reality show isn't actually going to happen, one man who is being considered as a candidate has spoken out against the project, basically calling it a scam. Dr. Joseph Rocha is a former NASA researcher with a PhD in physics and astrophysics who got involved out of curiosity, but soon became concerned with the selection process for candidates. He states that the hopefuls are encouraged to get points during each round of the selection process, and it takes bunts to get them. He says you get points for getting through each round of the selection process, but just an arbitrary number of points, not anything to do with ranking. And then the only way to get more points is to buy merchandise from Mars One or to donate money to them. That sounds super swell and totally not shady at all. <laughs> also, the company reportedly sent out a list of tips to their candidates last month that said in part, if you are offered payment for an interview, then feel free to accept it. We do kindly ask that you donate 75% of your profit to Mars One. They're asking kindly, guys. And add to that another huge red flag. Rocha said that he was initially told he'd be flown to the project's offices for several days of rigorous testing, which sounds right on par, but that eventually became no more than a 10-minute Skype call with the project's chief medical officer. Yeah, that definitely sounds like it's heading to Sketchdown USA. So no TV show, no real funding that we know of other than donations from candidates, and no rigorous physical or psychological testing to speak of at this point. What do you guys think of Mars One now? Let us know in the comments. Oh, and you can check out the full interview in the comments down below, uh, in the description actually. You can find it there. Don't forget, you get the very best in video games and entertainment right here, so make sure you like this video and subscribe to this channel so you can know what we know and be in the know on this show. Heart you.